guys, today's video is an exciting one. It is actually my 50th video. I cannot believe it. I started here on YouTube in August and I have learned so much through the last 50 videos and I can't wait to see what continues to grow and come of this. Today's video, I am talking about the brands I want to try in 2019. I posted a video last week called my beauty resolutions for 2019. One of those resolutions was to get out of my comfort zone with my makeup. And then the other one was to get out of my comfort zone with my wallet, meaning there are a ton of brands that I want to try in 2019. Most of these brands too that I'm going to mention, I have been dying to try for a while now. A lot of them are also indie, which is really cool. I do just wanna say, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also too, if you have tried any of the products I mentioned or just these brands in general, go ahead and let me know your thoughts and opinions. So I have my phone here in front of me with a cute picture of my hubby and dog, as well as my notes. I have taken some notes on each brand. And the first one I want to talk about is Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury is a British makeup artist and she founded the brand in 2013. They weren't on my radar at all until they came to Sephora, which I want to say happened last year. But a lot of the products are getting very good reviews. The products themselves look very beautiful, the quality, the packaging. And this is a brand too that I definitely wouldn't expect to be cruelty free just because of their general aesthetic. Also the price point, because a lot of these high-end brands tend not to be cruelty free, but they totally are. The one product that is really on my wish list that I most want is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Samantha Ravindahl always raves about this product. And from what I understand, it's more of a filter before you put on your makeup. It gives you a little bit of luminosity to the skin, which is really nice. It kind of gives it that more skin-like appearance. And yeah, it is always out of stock, at least the one in my shade. I am looking at it in the shade Fair, but it does come in seven different shades and it retails for $44. I really want to get my hands on that. I actually just looked at Sephora last night and it was still out of stock. The other item I am interested in is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder, which retails for $45 and comes in three different shades. And the third item, which I'm going to keep uh, mispronouncing because I keep having trouble with it, is the Feline Flick Liquid Eyeliner, which I keep struggling with. I keep saying the Feline Flick. Feline Flick Liquid Eyeliner. This is four and a half stars on Sephora's website, which I think is great for a liquid eyeliner, and I'm always looking for a new one. It only comes in one color, which is black, but I definitely want to check that out, and it retails for $30. The next brand I am dying to try is Melt Cosmetics. If they would only bring the damn palette that I want to try back in stock, and that of course is the Gemini palette. It retails for $58. It has, let's see, 10 different shades. Five of them look like they're more greenish kind of colors and the other five look more neutral. It is stunning. I have wanted this ever since Raw Beauty Christie did a tutorial with it and she raves about it. She even just said in like her year end kind of wrap up that she still loves that palette and the five neutrals she uses constantly. I want it so badly. It's been out of stock along with our Smoke Sessions palette, which I think retails for $48. When Smoke Sessions came out, I do think they came back with Gemini for like just a second because it sold out so quickly and it was in December and I was broke so I didn't have any money to buy it. But when that comes back in stock, specifically the Gemini palette, I will be purchasing it. And Smoke Sessions I'm also interested in. It does look like a lot of the colors in that one are more shimmery. There's not a lot of matte shades. I think there's only two from what I remember. They look like they would be really great companion palettes though. I am interested in both of them, but Gemini, that's really the one that I really, really want. Uh, they do have some other products that look great. They do shadow stacks. They just came out with a new one that's blue. I've seen that all over. Um, Makeup Minute by Jen Loves Reviews just showed that today and that looks really cool. I'm not really into blue, but some of the other uh, shadow stacks I would be interested in. They also have various lip products as well as some highlights and blushes. The highlights themselves have this really cool imprint in them and I would like to try them as well, but it's really, it's all about that palette. If they would bring it back, I will definitely purchase it and maybe pick up another couple items as well. The next brand is Colored Rain and I've been dying to try them for a while now. The founder Lorraine and that's where the name and the spelling comes from the R-A-I-N-E is a woman of color and she created this brand with women of color in mind for pigments for everyone to show up on all skin tones which I think is really awesome. I specifically want the Vivid Pigment Palette. It retails for $50 and it is 16 shades. Jay Kissa did a tutorial with this and I have been wanting to try it ever since. The colors just look so beautiful. The greens in there, especially that dark green 
that lighter peach shade it all looks beautiful the purples I want to get my hands on this so badly I did see some of their products retail in both Target and Riley Rose I don't know if you can get this palette from there specifically they have some other products that I also just think look beautiful their lipsticks look really nice they are called satin lipsticks and they retail for $17 there's like this bright purple that I'm looking at that I think looks really cool and then also just like a peachy nude just to give a neutral and a more of like a pop kind of color but yeah definitely want to try colored rain in 2019 they are very high up there on the list Glossier I have not tried anything from them and I also have been wanting to try them for a really long time one of the first things I actually remember pinning on Pinterest was for one of their moon masks I think someone I liked was talking about it like I want to say it was Haley Williams from Paramore. I mean, she can do no wrong, whatever she wants and uses on her skin, then I want it too. Um, she was talking about one of their moon masks and I went ahead and immediately pinned it on Pinterest. And that's really before I think they got really big because they've been doing really well, especially with some of their makeup items. For skincare, I really want to try the Milky Jelly Cleanser. That just sounds like such an interesting consistency. Uh, they also have the Balm.com and they have a rose flavor. I am a sucker for anything that is rose. They also have one that I think is called like Happy Birthday or Birthday Cake. And that sounds really yummy too. For makeup, Boy Brow, of course, I want to try. I currently use the Milk uh, Kush Fiber Brow Gel and I love it. So I'm curious to kind of compare the two. Maybe I can do a video on that. There's also the Cloud Paint Blush and there's like a very bright kind of coral color. That's the one that I am most interested in. I always love corals. And I also really want to try their perfume, which is called You, and it retails for $60. They also make some kind of solid perfume type. I didn't get the price of that one. I'm not really into the solid perfumes. I like something that I actually spray on. This one, I am going to pull up the scent notes though because I don't remember them. For the perfume, it says it has uh, three base notes, which are ambrette, ambrox, and musk, and top notes say uh, iris root and pink pepper, and that sounds delicious to me. Someone else compared it to the replica by the fireplace, which I I just have like a little vial from that I got from like a Sephora sample. It's very expensive. I want to say that perfume's like $120, $130, but it smells so good. So someone said this one is kind of a dupe for that. So I would also be curious about trying the Glossier perfume. And then moving right along to my last one, I have Nabla. This is another one from Jay Kissa, and that's why I want to try them. Um, this is an Italian indie brand. So one of the things that have kind of held me back on buying this brand is that you can't get it here in the US. You can of course have it shipped from their store, but there's no like US retail where you can purchase it from. So it is going to be quite pricey. From them specifically, the Poison Garden palette looks stunning. Uh, the shades in there look absolutely gorgeous. There's some metallics and then some nice vibrant mattes. So I definitely wanna try that palette. They also have pretty much everything for a full face of makeup, some powders. Uh, they have a foundation, I believe, concealers highlights blushes and I know they have a variety of lip products too I saw some lip pencils that looked really nice some lip colors and what's nice too is a lot of their lipsticks and lip liners did match they actually had the same name so it would be easy to match them together I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on them to see if I would really want to try more of their like skin or face kind of products but for the most part I really just want that poison garden palette I think I did a little bit of math uh, it of course is in euro but it converted over it's 46 plus tax and shipping which would be pretty pricey. So again, I'm gonna have to look at a little bit more like tutorials and reviews on that one. But those are the five brands I am dying to try in 2019. I also have some other things that I just wanna mention and they are all lashes. I have gotten into wearing lashes a lot more since starting this channel. And basically I've been really just sticking with um, the House of Lashes. I also like Ardell, Kiss Lashes. So I want to try some new brands, especially some more indie brands. So the three brands that are kind of on my radar that I wanna try are Coco Lashes. Two styles that look really interesting to me are the Allure and the Marilyn. I also have the brand Rouge and Rogue. Rouge and Rogue, is that what it is? Yes, I know I'm gonna mess that up. Um, their lashes also look really nice. Um, I'm gonna put up like a specific pair that I saw. Oh, it's called Nirvana. Of course, I wanna try the one that's called Nirvana. They look very nice and fluffy, and I have also heard good things about them. And then the last brand is Black Moon Cosmetics, and they have also a ton of other products that also look really interesting, but specifically these lashes, 
I think they are fairly new. They came out with like Zodiac collection lashes and I'm a sucker for that too. So the Cancer Style looks very nice and I would love to give them a try. Those are the brands I am dying to try in 2019 along with some fun extras. Like I said, if you have tried anything from these brands, whether I mentioned it or not, go ahead and let me know your thoughts and opinions below. I would love to know your feelings before I put my money in. Also too, if there's a specific palette you wanna see a look with, go ahead and let me know below. I'm always looking for new video ideas. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button and the bell for notifications if you want to see more of me. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.